Okay, Stimpy. It's time for your evolving lessons. Oh, rapture! This is Grant Rice. Hey, this is Tisha DeVille. Hey, this is Richard from Media Orphan. Hey, this is Jason from Savannah. Worthy addiction. You're listening to Big Dumb Fun. Nip, Matt. <laughs> the Big Dumb Fun Show. Thanks to the Big Dumb Fun Show! Got to explain a little bit further, you know, besides just that we suck. Aaron Gunner. And we don't have beautiful women in gowns coming forward. We just have this <laughs> music. The Big Dumb Fun Show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode, another edition, another three hours, Monday, 7 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time of the Big Dumb Fun Show. My name is Aaron. Hi. I'm Venkman. I'm, am I on now? Am you are, you on? were check, on. You check, were check, on. Check, one, you, had, I'm, you were at set at Royal Man level, though. I, well, you know, is Royal Man a yeller? He's kind of loud. So. <laughs> Royal Man! It's a Royal Man report! Uh, and, yeah, because the microphone was also about uh, three feet taller as well. I, I don't know if it's just because I slouch or whatnot, uh, but he is a really uh, tall dude and uh, always have to adjust the uh, mic. How was your weekend? Uh, it was interesting. It was good. I guess it was uh, another exciting Chubby's weekend, yeah, and then and I got off. Well, there was a couple big concerts in town, which usually would make... Freaker's Ball. Yeah, but but it wasn't at but see, uh, Midland is, or anything. Yeah, Freaker's time. Ball was at an independent center, which is like uh, Columbia. As far as if you live might in Midtown, as well, might as well it might be. as well be because it's, it's, it's forever there's, away. There's so many dining experiences between Independence Center and where I'm working. But not, not a lot of 24-hour dining experiences. I mean, you still are. I, I mean, I don't you know still that the Freakers Ball is the IHOP kind of crowd, but yeah, they I, certainly are the Chubby's crowd because we get like just <laughs> it, a, is, it is a chubby crowd, a cross section of humanity there. <laughs> And it was another cross section this weekend. Yeah, you got some uh, cross section uh, sectioning yeah. going on. There's cross dressers, cross section. It's uh, any cool Halloween costumes a, coming into the uh, none shopping? yet, really, not very. Really, that was a, the whole big thing. The was... Renaissance Festival. I go, hey guys, that was over Columbus Day. You know, I was, I was gonna say I went last. Hey, shut up, man! <laughs> I went to the the Renaissance nice Festival. Nice bustier last... guy. I went there last weekend. It, the place just it was awful, awful experience. <laughs> And then they said, you know what? It's it's actually was closed Columbus Day, and I was like, no, well, that's why this, no this, this place just is so awful. Seems There's like a couple a of guys in fairy costumes hanging around, and that was that was about it. Uh, but I did get to shoot a bow and arrow. But what else happened over the uh, the weekend that uh, that uh, you <laughs> that know, I texted you about? That you texted me about, perhaps uh, maybe an interesting uh, a late breaking development in the uh, the social endeavors. Well, I don't the, know about the social the endeavors. The sexual <laughs> promiscuity of the the Gnurkmeister. You know, I'm not promiscuous. Really? I'm not. I'm not a promiscuous guy. I got seven I ladies' don't names that, that get around. Uh, That's well, <laughs> that say otherwise. Oh, really? What seven ladies are those? Because I'd like to meet them. <laughs> not that I'm promiscuous, but I would <laughs> like to meet them one at a time. Just or two at a time would be all right too. <laughs> uh, if they were some of those pictures that you showed me, that would be all right. But yeah. Otherwise, never mind. Not a chance. Uh, well, I had a uh, gotten off work at six o'clock in the morning at about six thirty. I received a phone call from Florice. Ring, ding, ding. My yeah. ex-girlfriend. For those of you new to the show, this is the girl that uh, Gnurk had this weird on again, off again, every week. It, well, it was wasn't every week. Yeah, it, it was every week. We lived together week. for a number of years. Well, and you say lived together, but she was there sometimes. And then she moved out. She wasn't. She, she was, went to Utah. She, yeah, she, oh, that's right. I forgot all about the, like, the she Utah. Utah. I mean, Utah. It's been, you paid for it's a bus like to a, get her back. I mean, it's like, a, it's like a roller coaster ride. You know, it's not all fun if it's just no. uphill. And you know what? It, you, <laughs> you, you know, no uh, one's yelling and screaming because you're going uphill. Yeah, exactly. So, See, so I guess maybe that's what it is. is but it? you were so hypnotized by this girl. Like this she had a hot she had a young Latin girl. She had a daughter who had that a you, daughter. you really when, got when along I, with. When I well, met this was uh, she translated five, like for five you. years ago. Which was really so, odd. I mean, her the, daughter the... four at the time, Florice like twenty four, twenty five at twenty four, twenty five at the time. Mm-hmm. And uh and and you know, I understand she had a baby daddy. Mm. You know, because she had a daughter, so yeah, most you know, unwed mothers do. Yeah, it comes. What well, can come with the territory, and yeah. I understand that. A lot of drama there. And, and the daughter was a really sweet little girl. Yeah, and he actually he rolled you in the parking lot. He tried to. Yeah, he, he gave you a black eye. Well, not a black eye. He punched me a couple times. Oh, so you came into the show, and you were just all tore up one time. I was. Yeah, like it was years ago. Yeah, this and was. And it like, looked like somebody had socked you in the face. Yeah, somebody like, yeah, had socked me. That's in what the face. exactly what happened. So. <laughs> 
Uh, but so anyway, I didn't think I had a black eye. No, 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 no. I don't know. I didn't call him a black guy. Uh, so she shows up. Well, she calls me. Says, "Am I home?" I'm like, no. I'm. I just pulled up to the studio. And yeah. at this point in time, you're thinking six thirty in the morning. Of course, that's where I'd be. No, I'm not thinking. Calling I'm at like six thirty in the morning. I hadn't heard saying, from Are her. You home? I hadn't heard from her in months. Uh huh. I literally probably hadn't hardly heard from her all summer long. Well, that's not true. I got back from Chicago, right? Mm-hmm. Middle of September. Got one call from her. Oh. Talked with her a little, little while there. Talked with her about Chicago, kind of things that went on in Chicago. And then I could hear crying, and then the phone disconnected. Oh. And, and I didn't, didn't hear from her. Didn't hear from her. You didn't, didn't call her. her back? I mean, didn't, didn't. You pick up, and all you hear is crying, and you know it's no, her. No, I, actually, I did call back, and oh. it went to voicemail. What a jerk you are. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> Went to like, voicemail. Hello, this is Aaron Gnurk. Because you always announce your entire name. Aaron Gnurk, how are you? And then all you hear is, really ah! <laughs> click. Do that for the bill collectors. Could but, <laughs> yeah, that way they know who they're trying they to get exactly a hold of. exactly who they're trying to get a hold of. And exactly if this is hang up on them. Aaron Gnurk, <laughs> please stay on the line. We'll, we'll give you, we'll pause for three seconds while you clear out the room so nobody can hear that you're late on your bills. <laughs> So, I love those. Speaking of being late, apparently Florice was late. Oh! Nine months late. I like where this is going. And, uh... Do we have a little a little Gnurkster in no, there? No, there is no little Gnurkster, but there was a little Willy. Actually, it was a There's Wilhelmina. A, it's a boy. Oh. It's a girl. It's a girl. She so now sho- she's got so two girls. Well, she showed up, right? She shows up with Nancy. She's driving some other SUV. Uh, who knows where it came from? Oh my God. And she, we come into the studio, and I offer my sodas. We do with the bands and everything. And mm-hmm. I go, five minutes, you'll be on the air. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and Nancy would have loved that. Yeah, which I, so I, let, I have to let them wait, you know, <laughs> <laughs> for a few minutes before Standard I... Standard procedure when yeah, you come you know, into the studio, yeah. You're going to be you on You have to show. wait, even though we're right, ready to get even you on. Even if there's no show, to... you just came here to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we got to wait five minutes while I'll be I... on the computer, you know, and just <laughs> yeah, sit at the uncomfortable couch. and. <laughs> And she had this uh, uh, car seat, I guess it would be called, like covered up with blankets, baby type purple or pink blankets, and uh, and there was a baby inside there. Oh my god! So it turned did you, out. Did that, you know it was a baby inside there? Well, I was suspicious because it looked like the kind of uh, you know car seat that you'd put a young infant baby into. And I was suspicious that maybe you, you thought maybe she was. I had asked her. I, well, I had asked her earlier in the year. I mean, this was I don't know December, January when I saw her. November, uh, no, not November. Maybe it was uh, like you know in May. There was a couple times she'd call me up out of the blue and I'd be like, "Are you pregnant?" No, she's not pregnant. Why would you just ask that of somebody because right out I, of the blue? Because I had my suspicions. Hey, Gnurk, how's it going? Hey, what's going on? This is Aaron Gnurk. Are you pregnant? We'll ask that of Tony Treehold tonight. We'll be talking with him, the Occupy KC folks, and Restraint, plus much, much more tonight on the Big Dumb Fun Show. I can't hide you, blow me away.